Very few people in our lives hold very special spaces. Whether they are our reading pals, traveling buddies, or even classmates from primary school, they are as dear to us as our own family. We have treasured them for more reasons than good laughs and shared interests. And as they say, strong friendships aren't limited to real life. There are numerous stories that have shown us the ups and downs of friendship time and again. Well, today I'm here with one very interesting story called The Fight. It is about two boys and their hatred, or shall I call it their friendship. But before I tell you more, let's look at the life and works of the writer. A man who needs no introduction, the Indian author of British descent, Ruskin Bond, was born on the 19th of May, 1934. He is considered to be an icon amongst Indian writers and a children's author and a top novelist. He wrote his first novel, The Room on the Roof, at the age of 17. Since then, he has written several novellas, over 500 short stories, as well as various essays and poems. His works which have established him as one of the best loved and most admired storytellers of contemporary India. In 1992, he received the Sahitya Academy Award for his short story collection, Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 for contributions to children's literature. Ruskin Bond's The Fight revolves around two boys who got into an argument over a pool. A fight ensues and ends in a draw. What will this fight result into? Let's read and find out. The Fight by Ruskin Bond. Ranji had been less than a month in Rajpur when he discovered the pool in the forest. It was the height of the summer and his school had not yet opened. And having as yet made no friends in the semi-hill station, he wandered about a good deal by himself into the hills and forests that stretched away interminably on all sides of the town. It was hot, very hot, at that time of the year and Ranji walked about in his vests and shorts, his brown feet white with chalky dust that flew up from the ground. The earth was parched, the grass brown, the trees listless, hardly stirring, waiting for a cool wind or a refreshing shower of rain. It was on such a day, a hot, tired day, that Ranji found the pool in the forest. The water had a gentle translucency, and you could see the smooth, round pebbles at the bottom of the pool. A small stream emerged from a cluster of rocks to feed the pool. During the monsoon, the stream would be a gushing torrent cascading down from the hills, but during the summer, it was barely a trickle. The rocks, however, held the water in the pool and did not dry up like the pools in the plains. When Ranji saw the pool, he did not hesitate to get into it. He had often gone swimming, alone or with friends, when he had lived with his parents in a thirsty town in the middle of the Rajputana desert. There he had known only sticky, muddy pools where buffaloes wallowed and women washed clothes. He had never seen a pool like this, so clean and cold and inviting. He leapt into the water. His limbs were supple, free of any fat, and his dark body glistened in the patches of sunlit water. The next day he came again to quench his body in the cool waters of the forest pool. He was there for almost an hour, sliding in and out of the limpid green water, or lying stretched out on the smooth yellow rocks in the shade of broad-leaved sal trees. It was while he lay thus that he noticed another boy standing a little distance away, staring at him in a rather hostile manner. The other boy was a little older than Ranji, taller, thick-set, with a broad nose and thick red lips. He had only just noticed Ranji, and when Ranji did not say anything, 
The other called out. Uh, what are you doing here, Mr. Ranji, who was prepared to be friendly, was taken aback at the hostility of the other's tone. I'm swimming, he replied. Why don't you join me? I always swim alone, said the other. This is my pool. I did not invite you here. Now let's understand the details of this part of the story. As we read, the story begins with the introduction of a boy named Ranji who had shifted to a new place. It was a hot summer day and he was walking in the forest as usual in his vests and shorts. Then one day he discovered a pool in the forest. Under this translucent water, Ranji could see smooth pebbles at the bottom. For the first time, he was seeing such a clear pool. Now back in Rajputana desert, he had often gone swimming, but the pools there were sticky and muddy and, you know, a bathing place for buffaloes and women who wash clothes. It was quite natural that Ranji immediately jumped into a new pool that was discovered. So the next day when he was swimming in the same pool, he noticed a boy staring at him angrily. The boy was taller and broader in comparison. He claimed the pool to be his own and inquired what Ranji was doing there. What do you think? Who is going to win the fight? We shall find this out. On that note, I shall now take your leave, only to return with more captivating tales and stories in the future. Until then, keep learning and goodbye. Tutamate! For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.